Everyone has something they're willing to fight for. Could be family, friends, your beliefs, your home. Doesn't matter who you are, there's just some things you have to protect. But what do you do when the world fights back? I guess I know now. Wish I could go back in time and tell myself but I was not ready to hear it. Honorable Judge Maya Bird presiding in the case of people of the state of New York versus Alfred Hunt.
on. Defendant charged with attempted grand larceny. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. I see. Officer, please remove her cuffs. Now, before we begin, perhaps you should reacquaint yourself with your many previous encounters with the law. Haven't seen this in a while. Not my best angle. Nothing like a trip down memory lane. Why are you here, Frey? Grand larceny? Is that who you really are? No, it's just... I needed the cash for... <sighs> Never mind. Sooner or later, you're going to have to start taking accountability for your actions. Are you familiar with the Persistent Felony Offender Law, also known as the Three Strikes Law? Wait, you can't do that. I never hurt anyone. Just yourself. You have two previous felony thefts. And with this new one, your grand total will be three. This could put you away for a very, very long time. You have so much potential. I, I can do so much more with my life. I I I'm a smart girl with a bright future. I was going to say you have so much anger and resentment in you. I'm not sure you'll ever amount to anything at all. Truth hurts. But in the holiday spirit... I'm going to give you an early present. Try not to piss it away. I'm going to release you under the condition you serve 120 hours of community service. Thanks. You won't regret it. Next time you end up in front of me, I will not be as lean. We clear? Good. You're free to go. Frey, one more thing. Happy almost birthday. It's not too late to start using your gifts to help others. That was close. That judge might have just saved my ass. Won't get that lucky again. Hey, excuse me, your phone. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. No worries, happens to all of us. You saved my life, seriously. Happy holidays, um, happy holidays. I should get back to Homer. Poor girl needs her dinner. I need to go straight home. the cold. Gotta get inside. I hope I never see the inside of a courtroom again. Oh, 
Hello? Goodbye. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ray. <clears throat> Thought we wouldn't find you? Hey, uh... Uh... Lisa! Lisa? Really? I thought she was Lisa. That's Chrissy! Huh. Well, in my defense, you don't really look like a Lisa. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, I don't have it, right? There were complications. Not like I wanted to get caught stealing the car, but here we are. <laughs> we don't like complications. <laughs> You're running out of chances. Yeah, I've been hearing that one a lot today. <laughs> Get the car back. It's not that easy. It's been impounded. What's so special about this car anyway? It's none of your damn business. Our boss, Mr. Giggin, is very unhappy. So unless you get it back, one of us is gonna be in a lot of pain. Do I get to pick? <laughs> Keep joking. We will leave your body in this fucking alley, and I promise you, no one is going to miss you. No. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll just tell your boss, Mr. Kicking. Kicking. Quicking. Kicking. All right. Kick, kick, quick, kick, kicking. Quick, kick. I, I just tell him. I, I, I need some more time. But, but for now. Here's some collateral. Maybe it's safer to go through the alley. Homer must be waiting for me. Better get inside before I freeze.
She doesn't like this, but it's all I have. I wonder where Homer's at. Curiouser and curiouser, cried Alice. Wish I could find that rabbit hole and tumble away to Wonderland. The Holland Tunnel, site of my folks' great disappearing act. Who leaves a newborn baby on the street? Well, at least it wasn't the Queen's Midtown Tunnel. That would have been an awful last name. My favorite kicks. I could stare at you guys all day. Finally, I can start over. Took long enough, though. Sorry, I'm late, I know. <laughs> Miss me? Oh, well, thank you. But my birthday isn't for another few days. I'll tell you what, I almost forgot. Been so busy recently. Oh, well, you know. Important things to do. Holy court, slaying dragons. I'll let you in on a secret, but I'm a pretty big deal. <laughs> Real big deal. Everybody needs me. We are getting out of the city, Homer. Away from the assholes, the garbage, the cops. I, I thought it was just enough to get us started. Yeah. I promise we'll go somewhere that loves cats. Even ones like you. I just can't wait for clean air, bright skies. No more chases, no more cops, no more fights. Tomorrow. One more sleep, and we are out of here. Can't wait to be in the other place with this.
shit! Hi. Homer! Girl, come on, we gotta go! Gotta find Homer first. Homer! Come on, baby! that engulfed the abandoned building in the Hell's Kitchen district of Manhattan has been ruled as arson. Luckily, no one was harmed in the fire. The FDNY believe it was set by some local gang members. The suspects are still at large. What happened to you? You look like hell. Are you allergic? What? To cats. Are you allergic to cats? No, I, I love cats, but are you in trouble? Good. She likes wet food, the flaky kind, not pate. She needs a warm place to sleep. Maybe a lap every once in a while. And she needs a bath, but good luck with that. Frey, what's going on? Her name is Homer. Promise me you'll look after her. Promise. Thank you. What are you doing, Frey? The right thing. I need some time to, to source some stuff out, but I'll come back for her. It just might take a while. Frey, wait. If you're in trouble, I can help you, Frey. Happy holidays. All right. Homer's safe. Now what am I going to do? Full circle. Happy birthday to me. Thanks, Mom. Oh, I'm better than that. No, I'm gonna fix things. Get Homer back. Finally get out of...
That is. It's beautiful. Nope, not getting in that way. Must be another way. <sighs> Definitely no one in here. Seriously? Who would just leave this? Where am I? What's happened to me? Damn, that is a serious draft. I swear to God, asshole, show yourself! Show myself? I've shown. I'm showing. I can't get more showed. Show myself in tears. Where are you? Right here, at the end of your arm. 
the thing that you so fruitlessly tried to remove? Oh, hello, yes. Oh, perhaps you're smarter than you look. No. Yes. N no. Yes. You, the one talking to me right now, are this... Cuff? Cuff? It's a bit reductive, isn't it? Cuff? Gauntlet, maybe. Van Brace. Oh, Van Brace. Van Brace. Yeah, no, it's definitely Van Brace. No, no, no. This is batshit bananas. <coughs> and yet, it's the truth. You're so you hurting me down. Seriously? No. But what you're doing is completely futile. How is this happening? Well, what were you doing before this was happening? Hmm? I was... Doesn't matter. Still here. Whoever is doing this, stop. This is one sick joke. I am out of here. You can't run away from me. I am literally attached to you. Why don't we settle down a bit and talk about ourselves? Talk about our interests in life, perhaps. I am not hearing this. This is all a bad dream. Be careful not to trip on anything. You can also see things? This cannot be fucking real. <sighs> Listen to me, Frey. How the hell do you know my name? We are bonded. Bonded? What do you mean, bonded? Why is this happening? This is... no. On bond! On bond now! As you can see, you're stuck with me, and I with you. And only you can hear me. Stop! Stop talking! This is completely insane! Frey, slow down. You need to listen to me. No, what I need is to figure out how to get back. I thought I wanted out. I was wrong. I was in a bad place. Well, this place might be worse, depending on how you look at it. What do you mean? What? Hide. Is that a motherfucking dragon? Don't let it see you. as well. Put that thing out there? I don't think so. I'm sure the creature is far away by now, and besides... What? You won't last long without anything to eat. Fine. And how exactly do you plan on getting out? I believe climbing that wall might be our best option. Hey, Cuff. This 
So if we are bonding... Correction, bonded. Whatever. If we are stuck with each other, then what... My deal. Who are you? I am what you see. Lovely. And I suppose you'll tell me more if I answer your riddles three? Uh, I don't follow. Never mind. Why were you rusting at that old shop anyway? Good question. I've been wondering that myself. All I do know is that before I visited Earth, I was here in Athia. Wait, what? That means it must be your fault I wound up here. How dare you? It has nothing to do with me. If you must know, I'm as keen to find out what brought us here as you are. So, have you always been... this? This? This. This chatty bling. As I recall, no. What do you recall? Hmm. I traveled here. Athia was not my home. I, like you, am an outsider. When I arrived, there was a lot of turmoil between the Tantas. The who was? The Tantas. They were four very powerful women who ruled Athia, each with a special ability. Like what? Magic or something? If by magic you mean the ability to turn me into an inanimate object, then yes. What in all creation is that contraption? It's a smartphone. It's for texting, calling, games, videos, taking selfies, and... Which, by the way, I am not gonna explain to you, so don't bother asking. I know what a selfie is. Really? Not really. What else can that thing do? It also has GPS, which would usually tell me exactly where I am. So where are you? Somewhere between purgatory and hell. It told you that. Sure did. was that? Oh, one of my talents, if you will. Hmm, it seems like there's a small settlement up ahead. Perhaps we can rest there. And you know that how? What are you? The extent of my abilities is nigh on limitless. I'm a Van Brace, after all. Uh-huh. So, this is Athia? Janu. Janu? I thought you said... Athia, big picture. Janu, small picture. Janu is part of Athia. I get it. Like New York City versus New York State. Exactly. I think. I have no idea what Newark is. 
No, not Newark, New York. Is there a difference? About a million. Okay, so let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. I'm seeing freaking dragons, and oh yeah, I'm talking to a fucking cuff! Fan brace. Be careful. Come on, don't be shy. Seriously, I wouldn't. Let's just keep moving. Why are you so freaked out by this fella? <laughs> Whoa! Because it's not as it seems. You tell me that now? Shit! Well, don't just stand there. What the? Don't start panicking now. Did I just do that? Well, definitely with my assistance. I did not just do that. We did. I just moved shit with my mind. Perhaps our connection has somehow awoken some abilities. I just moved shit with my mind. I just keep hearing I, I, I. I just moved shit with my freaking mind! <laughs> Yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, talk to sentient cuffs, kill jacked up beasts. You know what? I'll probably fly next. Now you're just being ridiculous. Oh, that's too far. Good to know there's a line. If you could just master these new abilities, with my help, of course. Um, did you not just see me take out that gnarly beast? Oh, bring it, you mangled monsters. Mm. up with the animals here. They did seem somewhat altered, didn't they? Makes you wonder what could have caused such a mutation. Yeah, like what happened here?
Yeah. Kinda coldly warm here. Meaning what exactly? Uh, forget it. What is this weird feeling? There seems to be some sort of malignant miasma in the air. Okay, turning back now. It doesn't seem to be affecting you, though, does it? Besides, I doubt there'd be much benefit in retracing your steps. So this miasma, what exactly is it? It's quite mysterious, isn't it? I suspect it might be what's causing all the local wildlife to look so peculiar. So how come it doesn't affect me? How come indeed? Could it be thanks to your commendable choice of traveling companion, perhaps? No, nope, not that. Definitely not that. Nothing but ruins. Looks like no one's been here for a while. I wonder how long everything's been in this shitty state. Perhaps we should find somewhere else to search? There's something there. Gotta be careful. So much for clean air and bright skies. 
I try to escape to someplace better, and where do I wind up? Someplace ten times worse. Oh, poor you. Thanks, Professor. I told you to... Sure, Cuff. Sure. Shit! It might be wiser to run this time. No kidding. Okay, this is awesome. I am catching some serious air. Very impressive. Just try not to catch some air into a seriously early grave. I could run like the wind, and I'm not even getting tired. Please, try not to get too careful. Look out! That was close. Where the hell are we now? The big city, I suppose? Hello? Anyone home? Say something if you can hear me. Not a sound. Well, let's keep looking. You should probably keep an eye out for somewhere to rest, too. Let's see what's over there. Is there not a single person left? It very much seems that way. Perhaps this oddness with the air had drove them to escape to safer climes. Hope so. At least that would mean they're still alive. Did you find something? Huh! Huh! 
Good luck. Predicting the weather in this place. I expect that's what makes the scenery so varied. Mm, yeah, I guess that's sort of a good thing. What the hell happened here? Not only is it completely yeah. empty, but this place is twisted. Perhaps it has something to do with strange creatures prowling about the place? Better than nothing, I suppose. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs>